I don't know if I want to go down this rabbit hole. I really shouldn't, but I've got to talk about Nick Adams, parentheses, alpha male. I've got to say, folks, when I first saw this account on Twitter, I wanted to kill myself in Roblox. But the more that I see from him, the more he becomes dare I say, endearing in a way. Because, I mean, this is a banger right here. I'm sorry. It's a banger. I am an alpha male. I have been known to eat at Hooters. I pump iron at the gym. I eat steaks and avoid soy at all co at all costs. I never play video games. I don't drink Starbucks coffee. I read the Bible every night. No, I will not apologize for being born this way. <laughs> I thought this was a satirical account, and I'm still not entirely sure if he's serious. But, yes, the tweets are ridiculous, but there's really no other indication that this is satire. Um, maybe he's embellishing this character that he's created for himself, um, and I think the whole alpha male in parentheses maybe is a tell. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he came out and said that this is all one big troll. But, I mean, the guy, the tweets that he makes are so ridiculous. And, believe him or not, he is entrenched in the MAGA world. Like, he, he has clout on the right. So, if he's trolling all of them, this is one of the best trolls we've ever seen. And he's a legend when he one day comes out as a troll. But he's an author endorsed by President Trump. He's been on Fox News. I mean, he's got the receipts here, particularly Stuart Varney, uh, which is like the worst Fox News. It's like F tier Fox News. But um, OK, apparently he has a cameo now. So let's look at some of his cameos. And by the way, he's Australian as well, which um, probably will make him even more endearing because of the cool accent. But let, let's hear him out here. No, I don't want to buy a cameo. I'm delighted to announce that I am now on Cameo. So, if you've got a particular greeting, if you want something said for an event, then I am your man. If you're after a little bit of personality, a little bit of character, a little bit of colour, a little bit of girth, I've got all of that in spades. If you want a funny Aussie phrase or three, look no further than me. So he admits that he's a little bit of a character. So maybe he is just self-aware. Um, this sounds probably ageist, but I feel like he's too old to be making tweets like the one we just read, right? And he's, like, seemingly obsessed with Hooters. Um, just ate at Hooters, and let me tell you, the wings were as hot as the waitresses. Nothing like a little alpha male fuel to get me through the day. I mean, I just... I can't not shake this feeling that this dude is, like, the best troll ever, and this is S-tier satire. But again, I don't know because he is actually entrenched in that MAGA world. I just, I don't know. Like, what do you all think, chat? Because I'm 50-50. Like, again, I would, I would not be surprised if he came out and said, I'm fucking with you all. But at the same time, like, the intelligence that we see here on this page isn't that off from the average Republican politician, right? Mike Leach is a pro-Trump alpha male. Like, he's obsessed with alphas and betas, right? I got to get the sound bite here. Where is it? Beta. beta males always criticize men who are more accomplished or better looking than them that's how i know all my hater haters are beta males <laughs> i'm sad that his tweets don't get more engagement um if if mike leach says you aren't tough enough then you simply aren't tough enough sounds like addition by subtraction for mississippi state um eating at so another hooters post Eating at Hooters on a weekly basis is one of the biggest possible flexes any men, uh, any alpha can have. Is it though? Like, I'll be honest. I've got to be a beta male, right? Um, beta! Because I've never had Hooters. An alpha male will stand for what's right, even if it means standing alone. Okay. But Trump is sitting here. Okay. The more that I look at his page, the more I become convinced that this is satire. But the best kind of satire is the satire that is indistinguishable from just like 
normal life when you can't tell like if they ride that that edge close enough then i think it's it's good nick is a dude uh that thinks hooter servers are in love with him yeah he's the type of dude that like tells all of his buddies that the stripper uh at the club was uh definitely feeling him and was hitting on him the devil went down to georgia and he was busy show me the breasts of an almond okay i'm sorry unironically I've got to like that show. <laughs> That's just so good. <laughs> it reminds me of the Vine back in the day where somebody was like, almond milk? Almonds don't have no titties? What? <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> okay, I'm just, you know what? Fuck it. I've got to retweet this. That's just... That's good. That's just unironically good. Even if he's a Republican, like, that's just a good tweet right there, okay? That's a damn good tweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay and what do the responses say here okay so this person uh, oh russ this is a former congressional candidate he says i don't think you know what alpha means bro <laughs> i just don't... so i don't believe you this is all an act so it seems like people are 50 50 i feel like i'm 50 50 he's 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 too good right um nick putting on a master class right here so conservative self owns. Alphas don't need to announce they are alphas. Everyone just knows. <laughs> okay. I feel like all of us are just dumb and this is just the highest tier of trolling. Like it's it's beyond all of our comprehension. And Nick Adams is just on a different plane, right? Because this right here is so good. Is it a conservative cell phone? I don't know. And then, you know, he's retweeting this person, Nick putting on a masterclass right here. Is he not, like, tacitly confirming that this is all satire? I mean, either way, he's hilarious. You just let the entire world know that you have never been to a Hooters in your entire life. Oh, my God. Banger after banger. Banger after banger. The dubs just keep coming. Uh, Hooters doesn't serve beta males. What was James Baker hiding? I'm just retweeting this major announcement to make sure everyone is aware. Oh, he was on Time Magazine. Okay. I think that the more that I read his timeline, because I don't ever see all of this, like, together. I kind of see a tweet here and there. But the more that I see it all together, like, you step back, and all the pu puzzle pieces form this big picture, and the picture is very clear. This motherfucker is trolling everyone. This is satire. Like, I, now I'm, like, 70% sure. Only beta males have problems with alpha males bonding at Hooters over a few cold domestic drafts and some Daytona-style wings. It must be sad to be you. Folks, Elon Musk is an alpha male. Janitor's Union called a strike outside of Twitter headquarters in San Francisco, so Elon Musk canceled its contract and fired the janitors. Okay, this is genuinely fucked up, but this response right here, like, he's got to be trolling, right? I don't know. Look, maybe I'll turn this into a YouTube segment. I need everyone to comment and let me know. What do you think? Is Nick Adams the biggest troll ever? Or is he just a dumb Republican? Like, I don't want to make it seem as if this rhetoric right here and this obsession with Hooters is above the average Republican because we've seen Republicans be even more dumb and loathsome than this. But I feel like there's certain hints that he leaves us that suggests that he knows what he's doing, right? Follow Biden's footsteps and it will lead you straight to hell. Follow Trump's footsteps and it will lead you straight to Christ. He knows what he's doing. I feel like this is a troll. It depends on what his angle is. Fair point. Fair point. Maybe he works for Hooters. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Could be possible. Either way, I think that one thing that's undeniable is that Nick Adams is an alpha as a Sigma male myself, I think that I'm qualified to determine who is and isn't an alpha. And Nick Adams is 1000% not. Beta. He's an alpha for sure. Case closed. But is it satire? I'm leaning towards, yeah, it, it's probably satire for sure. Hooters with the big boys, Bibles in hand, Fortnite controllers in the trash. They hate this. <laughs> He's going to get a bunch of barbecue sauce on his Bible. Yeah, I think he's I think he's uh, 
trolling. Nick is really a Hooters line cook. But if he if he worked there and was just like a line cook or a dishwasher, he would hate it. Because how could you not hate your employer? Especially uh, like one of these fast food restaurants. Um, either way, this is like comedy gold here, even if it is uh, unintentional. Beta male.